What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video and in today's video you guys see from the thumbnail of this video guys We finally got some parts from BMW for the E92 M3 So this car guys has been absolutely a pain to get parts for for some reason on eBay People are pricing parts on this car like I said earlier the same as like F80 prices or even more at some point I mean sometimes I can find an F80 bumper for like 600 bucks But bumpers for this car at least the ones without the nozzles or the PDC sensors are going for eight to nine hundred dollars So buying it from BMW is honestly my best bet and that already comes primered so then I can just get it painted it, 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 the paint will stick really 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 good because OEM primer is the best here it is guys we have the OEM bumper from BMW guys right there BMW front bumper um, again no sensors no washer nozzle so this thing's gonna look really clean on the front end there's, there's no extra thing so this is gonna be like a very 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 clean front bumper this is the OEM fender right here as you guys can see from the label down there and that right here is the OEM competition wheel now I probably could have went ahead and just ordered a different set of wheels but I honestly really 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 love these wheels these are the OEM competition wheels and honestly the rest of them are pretty good shape they're just all very dirty so I decided to get a matching one for the front and I actually got a matching Michelin tire for this wheel as well because I just want the OEM feel to it if you guys know what I mean something I also noticed is that it actually has the preferred client sticker right here which means that I'm pretty sure that basically means that the original owner took this car for service since day one so this is a very 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 well taken care of E92 M3 with only 40,000 miles so again, I'm super stoked that when I found that out, I was like, you know what? It is worth forking out that extra money to make this thing absolutely perfect. So that's what we're doing. But before we actually get into that, we have some uh, N20 issues. The N20, which is my wife's 328, um, I found out that the, the timing chain warranty or like the recall or whatever it is, is up to 100,000 miles. We're at 125,000 miles. So we only qualify for the solo warranty. So um, yeah, that doesn't cover major engine issues if the timing chain snaps. So that being said, we really want to make sure we're on top of our main it's at least the oil changes. So we actually got some 5W40. Normally I put 5W30, but this is a high mileage car. I'm gonna go ahead and stop some 5W40 in there. You guys already know I got the liquid moly and we got the man filter. This is probably the best that you guys can get for the money at least. I mean, obviously you guys can go straight BMW fluids, straight BMW filter, probably spend more money. But um, end of the day, I think this would do just perfectly. This is actually from FCP Euro. Like I said, guys, lifetime warranty. Literally once you use this filter, once you use this oil, you can pretty much put the oil back in there, <laughs> put the filter back in here, send it back to them. And send you a replacement so that's pretty awesome let's go ahead and pull up the 328 just do that oil change before we start working on the beast and would you guys look at the time it looks like simply carbon fibers got my back i am slowly and slowly trying to spend some money on myself you guys know i always spend my money on my cars and i'm trying to look good i'm trying to buy some things for myself you know here and there maybe some nice shoes maybe some nice shorts here and there but simply carbon fibers got my back they know people like us us car enthusiasts we don't like them regular watches we just don't like it there's no point for it the apple watch it gives us a purpose it's got the messages and stuff like that you know like at least you can use that for texting and whatnot not, but this watch right here this is a beautiful 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 watch that I'm not gonna be wearing from here on out for car stuff I'm only gonna be wearing when I go with family going out on car cruises going out with my wife because this is what you guys call a stylish watch and the reason why I love this watch look at the details guys got this beautiful 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 golden accent got some forged carbon fiber in the center there they are also car enthusiasts but at the same time they make accessories so for people like us that are huge car fans but at the same time want to look good but also you know should embrace our car enthusiast selves make sure you check out simply carbon fiber I don't know if you guys remember before but we actually worked together before and they showed me their Alcantara carbon fiber wallet guys this wallet I've been taking everywhere with me you guys to see I did not lose it I absolutely love it I keep this in my cars honestly just a little bit of money in there so don't try to rob me or anything but I keep a little bit of money is like my safety cushion for my cars whenever I'm going out with friends or whatever this is the wallet I would take with me because my regular wallet is beat and yeah I just absolutely love their product now I got a stylish wallet I got a stylish watch and you guys can also get those too make sure you check out the link down below use my code and they got many options guys so if the gold accent is not your thing or the black band is not your thing make sure to check out the website because they have so many so many different options but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and jump back into the video
quick guys, we're just letting the car pretty much run. I wanna check the oil temperature, I mean the oil level through the computers and you have to let the car get to operating temperatures. I did check underneath, there's no oil leak, so we are good to go, we did a good job on that. I legit just did an oil change on this car a couple days ago, I just did an oil change on that today and the Nissan Tine is getting an oil change from my boy Erlon, so we're pretty much getting all the oil changes done. Unfortunately, the only thing we haven't done yet is the FADM3, so we're gonna have to do that soon because that car deserves uh, a fresh oil change. We went to LA and back in that oil change and we did a few other trips, we even took it out of the track on that oil change. So yeah, we should probably do an oil change on it. It has been less than 3,000 miles, but at the same time, um, yeah, I should probably get it done. Anywho, it's about time that we reassemble the fender, the bumper, and get pretty much the aesthetic appeal on point. As of this part right here, guys, I don't know what I should do. Give me any suggestions. Should I go ahead and get a new one or not? It's literally like perfectly matching up. It's like literally a crack. It's not like it's missing any pieces. Um, like that's how it looks. It looks super good. That's the part number four. I looked it up. I called BMW. They're like talking like 160 bucks for this thing, which is kind of insane. I don't really know if I want to buy a new one just because it's a little air duct and like if you hold it right here it's perfect it just yeah that's the only issue with that i don't know it just kind of hurts to throw this out considering that that's very 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 minimal damage we'll see we might just throw that one out and get a new one because again we're doing everything oem and perfect we do want this thing to be absolutely perfect so i think i'm going to end up ordering a new one but in the meantime i think i want to slap on the bumper anyways and i want to slap on the fender i want to see the gaps and everything's a1 if the gaps are all looking really good then the suspension and everything once that gets reassembled it should be absolutely perfect so first things first let's go ahead and get those boxes open because uh we got some oem parts for the first time well i mean i've had oem parts but not directly from bmw because that's just some rich people stuff and uh, normally i would never do that i know goon squad does that every single time or at least most of the time but uh i that's too much for me <laughs> i'm working on i'm working on but you see i'm slowly getting into the into the actual genuine parts from bmw it's just i don't know why it was actually ended up being cheaper to get oem than uh, ebay stuff anywho i don't know why i'm still talking more go ahead and get those boxes down And there you have it guys. That's how they package an OEM fender. That is some crazy good packaging. The bumper also had some really good packaging, but this is some next level packaging. I mean, just look at this. I think I'm actually gonna keep this box to ship out something else because this is a really nice box. So yeah, guys, we got the fender right there, the bumper right there. Now we are driving this car to LA, so we don't want this stuff getting damaged. So most of you guys don't know, but your man contacted SSR Performance and I was like, you know what? Can we come down and get some work done on the E92 M3? Uh, they did squeeze me in for next month. So next month, Month, we should be taking down the E92 up three down there for raw bangs. But at the same time, you guys saw how good of a job they did with the GTS hood paint match. They didn't do any blending, and the paint came out absolutely amazing because they they basically blended it in from the fender onto the hood, like the hood side of each fender was blended on the hood. So like, I don't know how to explain it, but basically the hood paint matches all the sides without needing to tap into any of the other parts. So all they pretty much painted was the hood, which is absolutely perfect. And they did such a great job that honestly, I wouldn't have even minded for them to even touch the other panels. Typically, you don't want a lot of panels being touched and re-sanded and re-sprayed with clear coat because the OEM is the best. But SSR, honestly, I didn't get a single rock chip on the hood since we done it. It's absolutely amazing. I do have clear bra on the top half of it, but where the lump is not a single rock chip so again very good stuff so that being said the paint job ended up being so well on that that i decided you know what i kind of want this bumper and this fender to be painted at ssr performance so we're getting that done at, at you know ssr auto body and which is right next door to ssr performance so yeah if you guys are excited to see the transformation make sure to smash that like button we're gonna be spending a week down in la possibly even poss possibly host a car meet we'll see what we have to do probably hit up finding nicks if they want to do anything down there this car is getting a lot of love but i mean it definitely deserves it. it's a beautiful 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 car and a beautiful spec and it just sounds so good. All right, now before we actually add on the bumper, we do need to replace this fender that's just absolutely snapped. So we do have to remove this just a little bit to pop out the two screws for the fender there. I believe there's two screws right there and then three screws up here. Obviously, we don't have to remove the bumper because that's completely gone. And we also have to remove this. I don't think I'm gonna put this back onto the new fender until we get that painted at SSR and then I'll slap that on just because taking this off, you might have to like put some pry tools in there and I don't wanna mess up the primer and I don't wanna mess up the paint. Anywho, anywho, let's go ahead and just get this fender off. I feel like that's gonna be a little bit of a mission.
So uh, that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> I cut myself really, really, really badly trying to remove this thing, uh, but it's finally removed and we're gonna throw this in the trunk. So once we get that painted, we can just slap this on and drive back home. I think it'd be super sick. In she goes. Which side? Uh, that's a good spot for it. So now that we have the old fender out, guys, everything back here is looking really, really, really good. I believe that's the crash sensor. No, that's not the crash sensor. The crash sensor should be, actually no, that is a crash sensor right there. So that's actually looking really good right there. So I don't think we're gonna get any codes for that. Everything else over here, everything lines up perfectly. So that is a huge, 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 huge plus. So when we install the fender, everything should just line up like OEM. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install the fender first because we cannot install the bumper until we install the fender. And actually, we can now diagnose the headlight. So is there any crack? And we looking good, boys. Oh, I am happy. I am pleased to see that. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and install that fender. Guys, this is what I like about OEM. Like, look at that fitment. From here to here, perfect. From here to here, perfect. The line that goes all the way to the bottom, perfect. The line from here to here, perfect. From here to here, perfect. And this right here it looks so good. Because if you guys see it, it does look like it's a little thinner here. But on this side that wasn't hit, it does get a little thinner here. So, uh, that looks pretty awesome in my opinion. Let's just go ahead and reassemble all this stuff again and then finally, finally slap on this front bumper. I am just so stoked to see this front bumper on the car. It's just, I, I feel like the fit is gonna be absolutely perfect because the damage is like, it's significant, but not that significant at the same time, if you guys know what I mean. Like this is nothing compared to my first E92 M3. Thank the Lord. My first E92 M3 cost me $20,000 to fix and I was very conservative. I rebuilt my own bumper, I rebuilt my own fender. I fixed a bunch of things on the car that was kind of, I wouldn't say the best way to do it but at a man on a budget i bought the car for seven thousand dollars like after fees and everything and I ended up having to spend twenty thousand dollars to fix that thing a lot of the parts for these cars guys the e92 from five, four years ago or two years ago or three years ago and actually rebuilt my first one and now they're only getting more expensive so really be careful before you get your copy e92 from the auction because you might get screwed over in just parts along that being said this is nothing compared to the first one i'm just super happy on how everything is lining up so yeah let's just go ahead and get all that reassembled so we can slap on that front bumper Now, before I just stop it on the bumper, we do need a couple things from our original bumper, which are these little like metal clips. Um, when you buy anything from BMW, it comes bare, absolutely bare, nothing on it whatsoever, other than like the tow hook cap, but like even those side things, those are not included. Um, any brackets or anything that are not included. So we have to pull these off of our original bumper. Um, not a big deal. Uh, these are very, I think they're like 15, 20 bucks a pop on eBay. Um, but um, obviously, if you could just pull off your original bumper, which mines thankfully are both good, we can just reuse these. 